Hey, hey, we're live. Let's see if I can get my camera going. Yeah, there's my face. Hey guys, this is Angela Sasser. Oh, I disappeared. <laughs> Still getting hang of this whole Twitch thing. <laughs> So yeah, this is Angela Sasser, I'm a fantasy artist, writer, and artisan. I do a lot of different things, which you can see at www.angelasasser.com. Uh, yeah, check it out. I do lots of creative things, and every month I like to hop online and let you guys know how I'm doing and show you some new art and stuff. So. And that's all brought to you by my Patreon patrons, which if you want to sponsor me online and get special perks for doing that, I have a Patreon at www.patreon.com forward slash Angela Sasser. So check it out. Let me show you what I've been working on. So let me take my face off the screen so you can see all of the beautiful screen. All right. So... This month has been all about my Ladies of the Month series. And for those who are new and don't know, the Ladies of the Month is a series of birthstone and birth flower Art Nouveau paintings I've been working on. Actually, it's a set of paintings and masks because I'm also an artisan. So for each month, I'm drawing a lady, which here you can see some work in progress shots of Lady of April, who I've been working on this month. And Lady of April is the Lady of Daisies, that's the birth flower for April, and Diamonds, that is the uh, birthstone. You can see here some of the fashion sketches I've been doing for this lady. April is also the month of uh, Arbor Festivals. A lot of uh, Northern Hemisphere cultures have Arbor Day Festivals. So I've been going with a tree theme with her. There's also a lot of celebrations of light and fire. So that's a, this is actually a color test I've been working on. But at, at any rate, I actually just started prepping the watercolor paper and I'll be transferring her to the watercolor paper today. You can see here, I'm trying a new transfer process. Normally I take graphite, rub it on the back of the paper print out and then just trace the picture on, but now I'm trying a thinner paper that my light table can actually show through. So I'm just putting the watercolor paper on the light table on top of my printout and then I'm just going to trace it. That'll probably save me so much time because with the graphite method, I was literally drawing it, drawing that line art like three times. So yeah, it it was pretty tedious, so here's hoping this will save me some, uh... Oh, not to mention the time it took to just completely cover the back of a 10 by 20 inch piece of paper with, uh, graphite. So, yeah, this is going to save some time and effort. She's definitely one of my most detailed ladies yet, and they, they just keep getting more detailed as I go along. Oh my god. I can't stop myself. Somebody help me. I'm a detail addict. <sighs> But yeah, so that's, that's Lady of April. I actually wanted to talk about Art Block because boy have I been Art Blocked with this lady. She's like, she's just been really difficult to pin down. I didn't have a lot of imagery to work with as far as the month of April. So a lot of it was tr trying to make some creative connections that just weren't gelling at first. And a lot of my first sketches I didn't like. And... I did end up getting distracted with some other projects, which helped me work my way through it. And I, I think I just needed a break from all the tedious line work. Cause Lady of March was pretty tedious as well. But I worked through it. I managed to just tough it out and ended up with this really cool sketch. Or rather, this really cool line art. And it also really helped to just take what I had and go to an art group of artists I respect and ask for their criticism. And I can't stress how important it is to open yourself up to that criticism because sometimes you're just so frustrated and art blocked that you can't see what's right in front of you. 
So it was really important for me to get that criticism from fellow artists and to just keep working through my frustration until I ended up with something that I, that I like. I actually really like this lady. She might be my favorite one. And if I can say that for each lady that comes up in the series, I'll be really happy. Oh, so that's the Lady of April. And then here is the Mask of April that I wanted to show off real fast. And uh, what you can't see here, that you'll see it towards the end, is that I've put a blue interference paint on top of white. Ah, go where he adds. And there's this lovely blue flash. It's a really, really cool mask. And I actually do the masks first before each lady. And that helps me kind of study the shape of the flowers and make and use that to learn how to use the flowers for the ladies. So you can see I've used some of that same flower motif with the daisies and the stained glass design of Lady of April. And if you actually want to see more of Lady of April, I have they have their own Patreon project where you can see all the full sneak peeks that everyone who's a patron there gets to see before everybody else. They get like my step-by-step -step process as I'm going through each phase of the piece. So check that one out at www.patreon.com forward slash Nouveau Ladies. And that looks like, like this. You'll see Lady of January up at the top. Yeah, check it out. If you really just love the ladies and want to get special perks and progress shots for everyone else, that's where you can see them. So what else, what else? Oh, for those who have been into my tabletop gaming character, Kalara, from the Exalted setting, her fanfiction that I've been working on, which is like a short story memoir of how she became an Eclipse cast, or, for those who don't know Exalted, how she became a badass diplomat of the sun, God. It's her backstory, and it's up to chapter 5 now, of 8. So if you dig my writing, and want to know more about this cool gunslinging business lady, she's got her own story that I'm putting a chapter up every week. So there's, you can see that at my writing Tumblr. I keep my art and my writing separate. So my writing tumbler, tumbler, ugh, is the project fairy.tumblr.com. Or to make it easier to remember, you can just go to the uncrucified.angelasasser.com and that'll take you to everything that has to do with Kalara and her story, The Uncrucified. So that's the other thing that I've been doing. So the big event, the character jam. This is basically something I would do for my Patreon patrons of my Angela Sasser art Patreon. Every month, my patrons there get to pick a character theme and give me a prompt. This month's theme was comic book characters. So the winning choice, if you couldn't tell already, is from Kathy, who said her favorite comic book character was the Magdalena. And honestly, she's one of my favorite comic book characters, too. She just has a really cool backstory. And, uh, yeah. Let me show you guys. So the Magdalena, if you don't know who she is, she is a woman who is the descendant of Mary Magdalene. And in the, the universe of this comic book, she... Mary Magdalene and Jesus have children, and the bloodline from their children become these badass, like only the women become these badass demon slayers for the church. And they're sort of a secret thing in the Catholic Church. And there's the, the Spear of Longevous, or the Spear of Destiny, that's passed down in their family, and that is the weapon of the Magdalena. So that's this cool spear you see here that she's armed with. And I thought I'd pull up some other references of her. Now Kathy requested I make her less sexualized and I, I kind of have to agree. You, you're not going to be slaying too many demons in a bikini. <laughs> you're just not. So for this sketch that I'm going to do, 
I actually really like Nebeziel's take because he at least put some uh, armor there on the stomach for protection. <laughs> but for this uh, sketch I'm going to do, I actually started gathering references of more modern day body armor. Because it doesn't make sense for me that she should be in partially medieval armor. It's heavy and unwieldy. There are much more effective materials. Granted, it does look really cool, so I doubt I'm going to get rid of everything from the design that has the metal and whatnot, because it's just part of her iconography that she has um, all the cool metal. So I'm going to find a way to blend that. And uh, so let's get started. Get my Wakong glove on. Okay. My camera is on top of my Cintiq, so I apologize if you get weird noises. But yes, before I like to start any painting, I do go through Pinterest and try to gather as many references as possible. Like this one I gathered because it has some interesting ideas about where plates should be on the body, on the thighs, on the on the um, shins, etc., etc. But first, I like to do some brainstorming. Has only you need to update. I will update you later. So let's do some brainstorming here. We're drawing the Magdalena. And a lot of her symbolism revolves around the rose. A lot of the times they'll show her with a rose in her hair. Her colors are red and gold and black. She also has the crosses on her belt. Yeah, the crosses on her belt and pauldrons and shin guards, etc., etc. Her greaves. Uh, let's see. And a hood. I actually really love the hood and cloak for her. Seems more mysterious. And if you're going to be walking around the street in uh, like weird church body armor, you should probably cover it up. <laughs> Unless you're in San Francisco, then it's okay. Um, what else does she have? She's got brown hair. I think that's the consistent, like, no matter what Magdalena we've seen, they've all had brown hair. They have the strong jeans. Oh, yeah, and if you guys have any questions for me, feel free to, uh, drop them in the chat and I'll try to look over and, and answer every now and again if I don't get too caught up in what I'm doing. Rose, red, gold, black, crosses, hood, cloak, brown hair. Oh yeah, the spear is like the most important symbolism. The spear of destiny. So that's that's good to get my brain in the right place. I would put on some music for you guys, but yeah, the music thing has not been working out for me. <laughs> it's either too loud and I don't realize it, so then it kind of overpowers what I'm saying. So I'll just try to remain interesting without any music which is torturous. I love having music while I draw. This is actually my favorite picture that I was found of her. So I'm just going to keep it up in another window. Just have it there for inspiration.
All right, so now that Photoshop is done, I'm gonna set my timer, give myself an hour. No idea if this can come out good or bad. So I apologize in advance if it comes out bad. actually imagining more of a more of a bust shot with her her forehead pressed against the spear kind of praying And this is just keeping it loose and just getting a sense of the composition and the basic expression and anatomy in this gesture sketch. Well, it's funny, I've got this idea for a bust shot, even though I did all that research for full armor. <laughs> well, that just means at some point in the future, I'm going to have to do some serious fan art of this girl, because she is cool. Now what to do with her other arm? Perhaps holding her cross here. I just added my own detail that perhaps she um, carries a rosary. I mean, it seems like someone who is Catholic would have a rosary, and even if they don't go with that, that a rosary would be a pretty powerful tool against vampires and whatnot. Since she's mainly a vampire slayer, at least the one I read, she was fighting vampires. So I'm pretty sure she fights demons too. She's kind of the all-around evil baddie fixer-upper. She and Buffy would be bestest of friends. It's a Sam. How are you doing, girl? Help me talk forever. <laughs> I'm already running out of things to say. So all I feel like people have to listen to is my AC and my heavy breathing. I'm trying to imagine this hand. I wonder if I can pose in front of the camera. For myself. Come on, camera, we can do it. All right. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is part of the artistic process.
I don't know if I want to keep the uh, camera up while I draw because it'll be like crazy concentration murder face. Oh, oh, I gotta show off this too. I've got one of these. Ooh, my hair is weird. Okay, I'm gonna stop looking at myself. I got one of these too. She's really cool. I forgot. I have this doll that was expensive. I should maybe use it. Dramatic. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera off because I'm just gonna be tempted to sit here and make faces with it. Bye, camera. I'm sure every artist has a murder face while they're uh, they're drawing. It's not just me. Hmm. Oh my god, this hand is like weird. Uh, I'll figure it out later. As I continue to fiddle. It looks like a sock puppet. think what it is they just have to move the whole angle of the arm otherwise she's doing this really sexy diagonal with her arm but it's like uncomfortable and doesn't make any sense but that is the whole of, of comic art for you really it's an, it's sexy and it doesn't make any sense And now she's like caressing it and it looks weird. Eh, I'll come back to the arm. But yeah, Sam, the last time I did royalty-free music, the channel was totally trolling me. It was like, oh, you mean you want some, uh, you want some really bad rap? <laughs> so it was playing, like, this terrible rap music. Like, royalty-free rap music. I actually have nothing against rap. But just the rap that was playing was not the good kind of rap. It was the bad made in your garage kind of rap. Alright. Oh, she's got a long neck. I've been drawing far too much Art Nouveau lately. Everyone must have long, luxurious necks. You know, I'll have to try that ambient. I think I know the site you're making, or you're making, the site you're talking about is like, um, lets you make rain noises and whatnot. So that'll either help me draw or, uh, like, make me fall asleep.
Ooh, okay. I'm gonna try Ambient Mixer, which has been suggested by Art of Sam. Let's do this. All right. Uh, Slytherin common room. What? Hmm. Oh my god, what have you done, Sam? I think that I could spend hours just making ambient sound stuff for my own stories and then upload it on this site and never have a life again. Oh my god, I don't know which one to choose. Damn, which one should I choose? D and D fantasy book. Forest. I wonder if they have something like vampire slayery for for Miss Magdalena here. Maybe if I look up vampires. Watch to get like nightclubs. <laughs> Vampire is always in nightclubs. Let's try the cup that runneth over. Dude, I never get texts, and of course, I get texts when I'm trying to draw a thing. Go away, sprint message. Can't do it. Sue Haunted House. Why are there humming? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go back to like Summer Forest or something. Light Thunderstorm. There we go. You can't go wrong with that. you guys start to miss the ambiance of my AC. Alright, thunderstorm. I can do this. Weird hand soap. Yeah, Sam, you... As if the, the playlist website wasn't enough to make me have no social life. Oh, the other funny thing that kept happening... <laughs> um, I found a cool list of royalty-free music and then it kept going, this is a preview file, over and over. <laughs> the music could be really good, and then all of a sudden it'd be like, preview file. Check out our hairdo. She just kind of has... comic book parted hair. You know, like that perfect part that comic book characters can get. It's like mystical volume lifting. Supported by comic book brand gel. I know this ambient storm thing kind of makes me nervous too. So I just think of um, like the power going out and me losing all my work. Oh yeah, speaking of which, let us save. Onto the desktop filled with junk.
now I have made her head too small. work the rose in this somehow. get into her crossing. What? You can control the roll of thunder? Ah, oh, that's so cool! Ooh, what is the perfect storm? Summer Forest, let's go with that one. Oh, we got woodpeckers up in here. That noise wakes me up in the morning when they mistakenly peck on the side of our apartment building because woodpeckers are not smart. Poor stupid woodpecker. I actually do like the way they gave her, like, um, Nebesiel's version gave her kind of a, kind of like she's got leather body armor underneath, but I like the idea that she's got m something more akin to a Kevlar, a Kevlar <clears throat> breastplate or chest padding, some kind of protection for the boobs. And then you can segment that so it doesn't interfere with motion. Oh, got a cloak going on here, so we gotta add some snow. with character without an epic. Cloak going on.
There's a sheep in this forest, too. That makes me giggle. They show her with dual katanas a lot. And since I'm a fan of characters that dual wheel, we're gonna add the dual katanas in. Then I can do some fun little details on the, um... The wrappings. I'm liking this one so far. Hooray, spontaneity! When it doesn't fail. I really wish I could play the song Magdalene <clears throat> by A Perfect Circle right now. It is a perfect mood setting music, but alas, it is copyrighted. Oh, well, I must have lied when I said this was going to stay a bust portrait. All right, that's enough of a base, I think.
kind of pulling that whole torture dark defender in the rain thing. So that seems kind of fitting. She's somewhat of a tortured character because I, in the issues I read, she um, kind of turns away from the church and they do all this sneaky stuff like steal her child away from her. One of the Magdalenas got their child stolen and raised by the church when she found out that vampires aren't actually evil. They're just people with a virus. So... Very sad. drawn to my 90s comic book style experience here with like big poofy Michael Turner lips and the sexy eyes that he used to draw. It was my favorite. And I think my favorite Magdalena artist was uh, Joe Benitez take on her, which I don't have, a t have him in my reference. I'll show you guys that. It's really cool. He did some beautiful art volumes on Magdalena. Yeah, like this is some of his stuff from her. I don't remember her waist being so teeny. Here we go, this one's cool. Yeah. Love her forearm guards in this. I shall pin it. She's got that big dramatic drapey hood that would totally fly up and cover her face if it was ever windy. Okay, the, the changing the ambient noise again real fast. The the sheep that's lost in this forest is making me giggle too much. Okay, let's try sleep to an ocean fire. Here we go. We've got crickets. I like it. Kind of starts off like a delirium song that always makes me think there are crickets in my car.
Ah, it's like drawing outside, but without the mosquito bites. Time to dip it, because I suspect your forehead is huge. Pretty bit good. Very, very young. Listening to this ambient stuff makes me realize how susceptible I am to audio cues. Like, this just makes me think of, um, like, just sitting out on my parents' dock, looking at stars, and then I want to grill, get this irrational urge to grill meat. Imagine an old style rosary with wood beads. Good reference for rosary wrapped around her hand.
I can tell I, I already want to spend more than an hour on this because this character is cool. So if I do get more patrons on Patreon, if I can self-promote for a minute, <clears throat> the more pledges I get, the more complex these character portraits will get each month. So we'll see how it goes. I can see her with more of a silver cross because you never know when you'll need it, like an extra backup silver cross for punching a werewolf in the face. Good for prayer and slaying. a vampire hunter D cross. Oh, but there's a weird tangent now. Must fix. I'm learning that whenever I draw armor, that it instantly looks more convincing if you have straps connecting it to your body. Because that is what straps do. And I have fallen into that trap of just draw lots of shells on the person. And by shells, I mean armor. Also a good excuse for gratuitous straps, which make all comic book characters look really cool. Eighteen minutes and thirty seconds. Uh. More 
more straps. Oh no, computer, I don't want to break. I'm just going to make my arms petrify in this position. She's gonna have like a holy canteen here, like holy water. So I told him to carry on blessed canteen. So I fought demons. Now I want marshmallows. Darn you, campfire sounds. Marshmallows and s'mores. I'm gonna put a steak in this one. This one needs a steak. Cool and boss sharpens holy steak. Because that's what it seems is missing from her gear is like all the actual stuff that you kill the things with. Oh, I can't go crazy with this design. <laughs> Must finish. Guess I do kind of have a thing for monster hunting ladies. It's no surprise I picked this one.
So the spear, as I imagine it, is just a simple Roman spear. Since for those who don't know what the spear of destiny is, it's in the comic anyways, and in real life, it's a spear that was said to be driven into the side of Christ by Longinus or Longinus, where he, you know, there are different versions of his name, and that he was cursed for doing such a thing, and that the blood of Christ is um, that fell on the spear made it a holy artifact. I can't remember if they actually have this stored in the Vatican or not, or pieces of it. Kind of like how there's like pieces of the cross everywhere. Gotta add this cross on her um, body armor. It's very iconic for her. Okay, so I gotta work in a row somehow, so I think I'm gonna do it on this pauldron.
an abstract rose. Maybe little rosettes in in the seam. And this, my friends, as well, probably won't finish this in an hour. <laughs> Like, remotely. Four minutes left. Ah. My God, I can do the swords. I can draw the swords. I can draw the swords in four minutes. Yeah, yeah. Swords. Particles, yeah. It kind of goes with a breeze that's pushing her um, cloak up in the air. Because that's what I need is more detail. She has like these weird baldrics that seem pretty iconic for her too. Just add those real fast. Baldrics, sashes, I'm not quite sure what you call them. Well, 
that is an hour, and I could just keep going and going with this because the Magdalena is awesome. It has a special place in my heart being a monster hunting lady. But that's where we're at. Hopefully Kathy will love it. Can't wait to show it to her if she's not watching this stream, which I don't think she is. But, um, yeah, so here we are at the end. Da -da -da -da. Dun -dun -dun -dun. That's my, uh, finished theme song. Yeah. So, the Magdalena. That's my been my one hour sketch of the Magdalena. It was fun. I really like how this one came out. And it's been a lot of fun challenging myself to do something faster instead of obsessing over thumbnails and whatnot. So, thanks for joining me. It's always good to see you too, Sam. And uh, if you like these and like my art, check out AngelaSasser.com or Angela Sasser on Patreon. And I'm out. This has been my, what, what month is it? <laughs> it's been my June Studio Hangouts last character jam. So maybe I'll see you guys next month. Thanks for joining me. Bye.